Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and this is going to be our reading for November. And I've decided to use Art Through the Eyes of the, the Soul Oracle by Cheryl Yambrick Rose. Um, the reason I decided to use these cards, first of all, I really connect with them. Um, they've got the energies of Mount Shasta, of Glastonbury, of Prague, a little bit of Russian, um, you know, Eastern European stuff, but basically Mount Shasta and Glastonbury. So um, this month, gosh, lots of energies. Um, we just had it the last two days, and we just started the month. Today was the solar eclipse in Scorpio, and um, a lot of people talking about sacred geometry, about numerology, about numbers, um, and then we'll be going into, I think around the 17th, um, will be the full moon in um, Taurus, and that's going to really open portals for our manifestation. And um, there's definitely uh, a lot. I mean, check out Tom Lesher's uh, uh, reading from uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday. Really great reading. Um, and just, um, you know, get yourself a little guidance as far as the astrology is concerned. So um, I've already pulled the cards because I started this before and it didn't work out. So um, we start with the first card for the first week of November. And this is Queen Khalifa, and it says, Seek the symbols and decipher their meanings. Now, Queen Khalifa, supposedly California, is named after Queen Khalifa. Um, I love that she's holding this orb of uh, emerald uh, crystal in her hands, that she has this pyramid shape behind her, and right behind that is Mount Shasta back up here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but on the card on the pyramid, there are all kinds of symbols. And uh, supposedly, of course, Lemurian symbols, because this is Mount Shasta, and underneath Mount Shasta is Telos, where the Lemurians went underground. Um, so I love that she has her her mountain uh, lion here next to her um, as her spirit totem. And um, I'm, on, I'm on a video. And um, so what we're being told this week is to... Uh, really see what symbology is coming through for you next week. Uh, what uh, numerology, are there repeating numbers? Uh, do you keep seeing a particular sign? Have things come to you in dreams like Flower of Life? Or, um, oh gosh, just sacred geometry symbols? Um, because they have meaning and you need to decipher what the meaning is for you. Um, you'll see that there's messages that will that'll come flowing into you as we tap into the deeper energies while we are in Scorpio. So for the second week of November, I pulled the Lady of the Lake. Love the card. Find your find and hold your own power. I really love this card because it's all blue. And she's got so we're talking about throat chakra um energies, obviously speaking your truth, being firm, being strong, being centered. She's, you know, completely got the sword in front of her of Excalibur, which is, of course, uh, the noble sword. And behind her, she has this beautiful waterfall flowing into this gorgeous lake. So all of our emotions. So it's about speaking the truth of your emotions, speaking the truth of your feelings, um, knowing how to be centered in those emotions and and speak from that place so you'll maybe through your relationships as you seek deeper meaning in your life you'll see um you know what what you really want others to know uh about you and how you want to live your life and um if those around you are not in line with that or if they're not in sync with that then that's okay you know that's their choice but it's also your choice if you want to be with those those people, those vibrations. So it's really about speaking your truth and standing firm as to who you are. In the third week, I got Saint Marie de la Mer, and it's adapt to a new situation. Now this is Mary Magdalene and her daughter Sarah. Mary Magdalene is the patron saint of uh, sailors, and Sarah is the patron saint of the gypsies. And every um Every year in May, the gypsies in St. Marie de la Mer have, like, they gather to honor her and take her out on a little boat and they come back. So they have, you know, a really big festival in her honor. Now, um, 
this this may be that you are adapting to a new situation, whether it be at work, whether it be changing homes, or just um, an internal shift and change that has happened within you because you have spoken your truth and because you have uh, understood what the symbols and meanings are for you. So this is going to create a shift with you, and that will be around the Thanksgiving time here in the United States, and it will also be around the full moon. So a lot of things are coming into fruition, especially since it's a full moon in Taurus, which Taurus, of course, is an earth element, and it's about our our um, our productivity, our abundance, um, our fertility, and what we are creating and manifesting. And it flows perfectly into the fourth card, which is the third pillar. And it says, be the powerful space between opposite poles. And um, I love this because the, here she, it's a Knight Templar, but it's a woman Knight Templar, and she has the Holy Grail here, and she's right centered in the middle of the cross. So I just wanted to read a little bit from the book because I really... Uh, loved the description that it gave um, as to um, what how we're going to be manifesting what what do we need to do to manifest and it says everything in our known world has a positive and negative charge the third quality is the creation itself the result of the interaction of the two is the powerful third point of the triangle so the the apex of the triangle which we have up there and um, it says, there is nothing in the world you cannot do, design and put into form. So here, she is the spiritual warrior. She's the creatrix. She's a pilgrim. And she carries all of the symbols of her experiences, which here we're talking about the symbols. And um, she's centered and balanced in order to be the creatrix of her own destiny. And that an epiphany of receiving the grail is becoming cognizant of our divine human potential. So we are stepping into our place of divineness, of knowing that we have that spark of the divine within us and that we can use it as a channel to manifest things uh, that we want in our life. So for those of you, this is a great time um, to have a reading done. Um, you can check out my website, of course, at Akashic Inspirations. I do want to thank everyone who subscribed to me and who uh, messages me on Facebook and, um, you know, uh, has been doing readings with me lately. Um, it's been a great pleasure. And um, so this month, uh, look at the symbology that's coming in for you. Be balanced in your truth and speak your truth. And allow things to flow. Allow these new changes to flow. And then you will be able to manifest. You will be balanced. You will be centered. You will have the knowledge you need because you did, you did the deep inner work of asking the questions, searching for the answers, and, you know, receiving them and being able to put it into practice and into reality. And that's what we're here to do because that's why we are physical beings. So I send you whew, many blessings for this really powerful month. And um, I look forward to seeing how things unfold. And I send you many blessings. Namaste.